On Monday week, over 15 boats full of humanitarian aid will leave from various ports around Europe and head towards Gaza. More than three MEPs from the European Parliament will be aboard these boats. One of them is Paul Murphy, the Irish MEP, a socialist MEP representing the GUI group here in the European Parliament, and he's here with me today to tell us more about this mission. Thanks for meeting me here today for coffee or tea that no you're problem. having. So um, tell me first of all about the mission. When are you leaving? Who's going on it? And why have you decided to, to go on it? Yep. Um, I think up to a thousand activists from around the world are going on the Freedom Flotilla too. We're leaving uh, Monday week. We will begin to sail from close to Gaza to try and get into to Gaza. And the purpose of it is to bring humanitarian aid to break the siege of Gaza that exists, where I mean, the impacts on the Palestinian population in Gaza have been devastating. Mm -hmm. The number of people who live on it, a dollar a day or less, has tripled to 300,000 people it, since the siege. Israel is on high alert. We've seen that. We all remember what happened last year, this time last year, at the end of May, with the nine Turks dying. Um, have you been in touch with the Israel Defence Force? I haven't. Um, I'm prepared. We're hopeful that we get into Gaza and deliver the aid. That's the purpose. We will be carrying medicines, construction material, things that are blockaded and aren't able to, to enter Gaza. So we're hopeful that we can do that. Uh, but I'm also obviously very aware that it's a possibility, perhaps a likelihood, that the Israeli Defence Forces will intervene and try to prevent us getting into Gaza. And I think in that case, uh, obviously we prefer to get in, but in that case, just like Freedom Flotilla 1, I mean, it did serve to raise public consciousness about this issue right around the world. Mm. Uh, I mean, it became a big, big talking point and okay. maybe can raise the plight of the Palestinians in Gaza in particular. And politically, who's supporting you? I mean, we've seen Catherine Ashton, when she found out that you were going to take part, she reacted negatively. She criticised the fact that the, the, these boats were planning on this mission. How do you react to that? I mean, she's meant to represent the EU's um, foreign affairs wing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I would call on Catherine Ashton, while she may disagree with us going, to do her best in terms of discussions with the Israeli government and the Israeli military to ensure that we are protected, not only the three MEPs who are going, but all of the people who are going, European citizens, but also others. Um, I think it, it doesn't surprise me that the establishment parties in Europe don't support uh, this mission. Uh, they criticise Israel from time to time, but they don't necessarily back it up with mm. actions. And I think that what we're doing in the Freedom Flotilla, it does put it up to the establishment parties and it, you know, it's real action in solidarity with the Palestinians. Um, so that's why we're doing it. And what about other MEPs, MEPs here in the House? I've seen Charles Tonic, the Conservative um, English MEP. He's quite negative as well about it. What about other MEPs from the other groups? Obviously, your, your group is supporting you wholeheartedly in this and your Spanish colleague, Willie Mayer, he will, he will accompany you. Yes, uh, I mean, the left group is very much behind uh, this is the Freedom Flotilla. We sponsored one of the meetings that happened in the Parliament here and there's two of us going and obviously the others also support it and a number of the Green MEPs are also supportive of this as would be a number of the Social Democratic uh, Socialists and Democrats uh, group will be supportive. Um, the right wing in this Parliament, the more openly right wing in this Parliament, does not support this flotilla, but never mind that, they don't support the Palestinians, so it doesn't surprise me one bit that Charles Tannock would be critical of me. I think that's to be expected. Just makes you more determined. Tell me, what about the IHH? I've seen in Israeli media that they are planning on not, not, um, not contributing. Mm -hmm. So the IHH, obviously the Turkish um, relief group. Yeah, um, I, I'm not sure what the status of that at the moment. I need to talk to the Irish organisers and the people who are connected to the steering committee internationally to find out exactly uh, what's happening there. I don't have any direct information. Um, I think there is heightened regional tensions between Israel and Turkey over the flotilla, which we're not in favor of. Uh, sorry, phone. Uh, we don't want to provoke a regional conflict, a regional war. We're not on the side of Turkey in this conflict of the Turkish government. We're on the side of the ordinary people in Palestine uh, and Gaza um, and that's what it's about it's a civil society to civil society mission and um, so if we do get there we'll be meeting with activists you know human rights people there in Gaza itself and on a scale of one to ten how how high do you think your um, chances are of, of getting there is um, I don't know uh, it all depends I mean this is a decision that will rest with the Israeli government and the Israeli army um, five out of ten I don't know <laughs> 
Okay. Paul Murphy, best luck with your mission. We'll be following you. I'm sure you'll have, um, will you have a video camera with you? Um, I'll be writing blogs uh, on a daily basis, updating my Twitter, and there will be video cameras with us to, to video the whole thing. Okay. Paul Murphy, Irish MEP, thank you very much for having coffee with me. And please come back and have another coffee with me when you get back safely from um, your trip.